change is because the next bleacher is going to back up the tape for this bleacher. And that's how I want it. So then you come over here. Release this pin. And again, we always store all this stuff in here so that you don't lose it. Now I can start. Wow. I can start backing my nitro bleacher right up there. So as they're, as they're backing that one in, you usually got another driver. Then you go along and you set your jacks. And usually what we'll do, and it's pretty level here, but if you were on a, a rough grade, I always turn up the front one and the back one. Get the front ones and the back ones first. Yep, to get it level. I never level my It's not that critical. But we do use a two foot level, you know, if we're like in a real fancy setting, we will make sure they're perfectly level. In a where? Like if we're inside a, a function, oh, inside a building, you know, lines to measure. Yeah, we'll we'll make it perfectly level just because. See it is all the way through double hole, right? Yep. Yeah. And then if you look at this here, it looks pretty level, so then you go back and you settle. Just about two or three turns after it's real taunt. What's that? Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You, you, yours wasn't the ground first. Drop the pin back in. Yep, pin back in. That's right. I'm going to have to drill them out. I never think of it until I'm using it. But on our newer model, we have that taken care of. So now, on this side, I never put it down yet. Okay. And the reason being is when we open it, there's actually pressure will raise that side. Gotcha. So his jacks are tight right now. They might come a little bit loose. We come over on this side. And we then you get it pressure. back. These are only here because of the codes for the extra weight. In theory, you don't really need them. Okay. You can put a, a 240 fat people up here <laughs> in the chain. Right. But it's, it's, it's a load formula that yep. you have to have. Yeah, so what we do is we put these down in this side, Preston. I mean, there's no order front to back. We always turn the back to the other. See, now if you're on ground, soft ground, you, you have them tight and everything. When you're all done, you might have to go back and give them a little bit because um, it's something the ground, you know. But normally, they sink to you. Models, we have that thing here. If you get three turns after the taunt, that's usually enough. And just still missing that one, Jack. So you'd have them put down there, and then the other thing. You get all their side down I don't put the weight down on the other side as down down because when this tips down, it's going to take some pressure off of here. Okay. Or no, that side. Well, I'm sorry, I'm on backwards. I need to put these down. I don't mean to mess you up. No. You can see what I mean about now having to worry about your battery drill being charged up or dead. It don't take nothing to swing these strings around like this. And if they want the option to put the battery drills on, we can do that in their charge because it's not a big deal. Deliver these, you deliver what it 
checklist. I mean, they, we show them how to operate. They check off. They have an inspector to check off. I mean, pretty much when you leave from a delivery, everything is signed off and accepted. Yeah, and then you take your, your button and you just want to make sure that's all clear. side goes up. This side actually goes back here. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't need nowhere near as much clearance on this side as that side. That is that one's place you got to I usually turn that fire out step out of two and a half feet. Okay. So there's a building in the area or something like that. See how uh, you're on the ground, but you have the ability to put pressure on it. A lot of times I'll, you know, I'll lighten these up, they go out and come back and snug these. But now, other than i got to walk up, take the railing that's laying in the back there, you pull two pins and hold it. Yep, put the, the railing on, 240 seats, ready to go. Yep, ready to rock and roll. $10 a ticket, $24,000, sounds good.